So the crew of Thunder Limited just dropped the creature character video for us on their YouTube. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and then give our thoughts about the video itself. Let's go ahead and take a look into it. Options lead to tens of thousands of different looks, making each Starborn as interesting and diverse as the stars themselves. But a Starborn's true nature isn't limited to their human form. As you grow more powerful by completing quests and defeating dangerous enemies, you'll unlock your latent ability to morph into creatures of the land, sea, and air. Traversing the world in animal form is only the beginning. Complete epic quests to gain access to powerful guardian forms, making you nearly unstoppable in combat. You shapeshift into massive goats and lay waste to enemy fortifications during epic passing sieges. Find peace if you prepare for war. And so, yeah, we do have the release date, of course, being September 7th, which means we are two months out. That's still crazy to me that we're so close after waiting for so long for this game. Let's go ahead and take a look back at the character creation screen. This is the part that I wanted to get to take a look at the most. Look at the character, the character creation on the screen is just beautiful, first of all. There are people creating that the characters look too Asiatic, but they haven't really looked into what the character creation actually looks like from people that have actually been in the character creation. If you wanted to make your character look less Asiatic, you could. I mean, this character looks less Asiatic to me, but it, that's just from my point of view. You can also change the, the um, birth, the width of the nose and everything like that to make the character look differently. You can see the shades right here. It shows you what parts you can change to make it look like what. Um, so I don't think this is going to be an issue with the characters all looking, you know, just one way. Now, the question is, are they all going to sound the same like they did in the betas, which was kind of an issue for a lot of people um, that were speaking on the Twitter. And um, but, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that that was an issue for some people was the the, the looks and the sound. But I mean, this this looks very in depth to me when it comes to seeing like you can change everything when it comes to like the, the, the bridge between the eyes, the forehead shape, forehead width, the nose shape, nose width, the jaw um, shape, jaw width, your ears, scarring, I'm guessing is what this is, your hair, your body tone. And then whatever outfit you went over that and then i'm pretty sure like there's gonna be all the colors in within the shape and tonality of everything like i i love games that have so much customization built into their characters and their character design that lets you just kind of free form with it so you can pretty much almost make yourself into the game it's always cool whenever you can put yourself into the game realistically and within within um sure what i'm looking for Within certain variables, the how you feel you should look or how you feel you would look if you could create yourself in your, in the real world. And so, yeah, that's that's what I'm really looking forward to in this game is the ability to create my own character and live out this, this fantastical story because the lore of the story looks pretty dope to me, to be honest. I'm probably going to be creating lore videos when the game does drop for those people that do love lore and um, want to keep up with the story. So, uh, yeah, tune in here and keep up with the videos that come out. I'll catch you guys in the future, and see you in Thunder Liberty. Peace out, folks.